Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about. Also, the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, absolutely no one. Feel bad and give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today, we're going to be talking about a product that we've uh, never talked about before, actually. Uh, but, you know, in essence, we probably should have because this shit is delicious. What are we talking about? Well, you ask, we tell you. You don't ask, we tell you anyway. But today, we are talking about the one and only Prego basil pesto that's right prego basil pesto what can be said about this one well man this shit is uh you know inevitably delicious if you don't have the time or skill and ability to uh you know kind of season stuff up or you know make a uh, you know delicious uh sauce that you can put all over what you shove down your mouthpiece hole then look no further than what prego provides uh, that's packed with flavor in this little jar now obviously this is empty we done eats it all and or our mom made uh you know, dinner with it enough to where, uh, you know, we used it up. Uh, but, you know, this stuff, uh, you know, definitely packs a little punch. And thanks to great chefs such as uh, Jamie Oliver's probably his name. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, man, you can come up with all sorts of recipes to use with just a little bit of pesto and shit. Uh, you know, what are some of those? Well, we'll tell you the secrets that we learned from good, uh, you know, cooks and such. Uh, and that is that you could take some, uh, you know, kind of ground beef or ground turkey or anything like that, man. Put a couple scoops of this shit in there. Mix that shit all up, man. Make little meatballs, make little burgers, make little whatever the fuck you want to out of it. I guess a meatloaf, but, uh, you know, we had never tried that, so we can't verify if that's good or not. Uh, but, you know, if it's anything like the other flavors that are packed in this little jar, man, that, uh, you know, do kind of uh, resonate in the meatballs or the meat patties that you uh, shove down your mouthpiece hole, then definitely uh, it should do the trick, man. But, yeah, a couple scoops of this shit into any of that, man, and it really does season and add flavor. Uh, you know, beyond what you, uh, you know, can typically generate when your ma's out of town uh, and you have to kind of cook dinner for yourselves. Uh, so anyhow, uh, Prego basil pesto, man, can't speak highly enough about this stuff. Prego, man, you know, we thought they just make, uh, you know, spaghetti sauce. Turns out they make spaghetti sauce and apparently uh, basil pesto Italian sauce. Uh, man, shit's delicious. Try it, don't try it, get it, don't get it. We don't care, we just want your money. Uh, Prego, what an awesome-ass commercial that we did for you. Uh, you should probably give us uh, $13,000, uh, you know, in a... Uh, then we'll buy another jar of your shit. See, it balances out. Give us money and we'll buy uh, one more jar, but you got to give us, uh, you know, probably $13,000 uh, and then we'll spend a couple bucks on a jar. Uh, not the cheapest stuff in the world, but, uh, you know, you can't put a price tag on flavor. Actually, you can, uh, and it's whatever this shit costs. So, uh, try it, don't try it, get it, don't get it. We don't care. We just want your money. Anyhow, keep in mind, too, we're doing the 1 million subscriber special, so if you want to be entered for a chance to win uh, this delicious Miss Butterworth's Fruity Pebbles flavored syrup, uh, you know, definitely be sure that you're uh, making fake accounts and getting us to a million subscribers uh, probably by the end of the year because, uh, you know, let's be honest, everyone's looking forward to winning that, uh, you know, Miss Butterworth's uh, Fruity Pebbles syrup. Anyhow, uh, Prego, uh, basil pesto, what can be said about you? Uh, you get a uh, good old-fashioned uh, RG because it's really good. So uh, you should probably get it or not. We don't care. Do whatever you feel like. Uh, mainly, you should feel like giving us money. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.